In this video, you will learn how to reduce your waste. Yes, it's exercise, a technique to teach you how you can decrease circumference on your waist and also how to end your back pain. It's a great exercise that once you learn, you're gonna end your back pain and also you're gonna reduce the circumference on your waist. And I have my bureau for wife here she's gonna help you to show this technique for you guys to start off you need to think about three things your diaphragm your abs and your pelvic floor all those muscles here they work together yeah and once they work correctly you're gonna be able to decrease circumference on, on your waist because one of these muscles the transverse abdominals when you squeeze when you work when you contract this muscle it's gonna bring your waist in because anatomically the way that is shaped on your waist is like a belt think about a belt if this belt gets stronger your waist gets smaller this muscle is attached on your lower back and go all the way around your waist it's very important for you to strengthen this muscle because you're gonna reduce the circumference and also gonna release tension, pressure of your lower back. When we walk, when we exercise, we need to always have those muscles working together, okay? And also, you're gonna learn how to breathe with your diaphragm. The lower part of your abs usually don't activate don't use them to breathe we only do chest breathe and then when we don't use those muscles right here also can bring you problem to your back and the pelvic floor muscles down here they are responsible to help you to control when you urinate when you defecate control the opening your vagina if you're a guy it control the way your testicles move all this is very important for you and also give you support to your spine and think about this your pelvic floor muscles down here they got support all the weight that you have of your body so these muscles right here if they weak you're not gonna be able to support correct the weight of your body going down here if you, your biceps is kind of losing you're getting weak you can see easily on your biceps down here because i mean uh, you see falling down your your skin your muscles are, are soft for your pelvic floor you don't really see these muscles so this exercise right here is going to bring you awareness to you on how to choose everything that i just mentioned and once you learn that you're going to decompress pressure on your spine and it will reduce circumference on your waist to start off i want you to pay attention to this at home you're gonna put one hand on your belly another one on your chest close your eyes and breathe only through your belly your hand up here on your chest is to bring awareness for you that you cannot do the chest breathing you're gonna do only the belly breathing so eyes closed it's easy for you to pay attention on your belly okay so hand on your belly only breathe through your belly deep inhale expand your abs as much as you can and exhale slow exhale just exhale exhale there you go inhale expanding breathe slow nice and easy it's only breathing now okay exhale exhale there you go inhale expanding exhale so first thing that you need to train it's the belly breathing problem when when you start off trying to do this thing over here you're gonna also do the chest breathing do the chest breathing you see this chest is going up for this purpose right here your chest cannot go up okay it's gonna be only belly breathing and first thing that you need to learn is the belly breathing once you get good at it do that with eyes closed hand on your chest in your way it's gonna help you to bring awareness to your brain what's going on on your body so you learn how to do this the next step is 
learning how to engage your abs, your transverse abdominals. And for that, we're gonna force out exhale. We're not gonna only exhale. How is it gonna be? Same thing, first, inhale only through your belly. Expand as much as you can, see her abs. And then force, exhale. Exhale, 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 all the way. And then release, relax. To activate your transverse, you need to fully exhale, force out exhale. If you want to just like do this, you're not gonna activate your muscles, okay? Let's do it again. Inhale, expand your abs as much as you can. There we go. And then force out exhale, force, 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 force. There we go. And release, relax. After doing this, Next step, you're gonna hold three seconds after you force out exhale. So, inhale, 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 force out exhale. More, 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 and hold one, two, three, relax, release. You're gonna feel your belly out the way on your back. It's very powerful. You already start to engage into contract using your transverse abdominals, okay? So, make sure to keep your knees out. So, it's very common for you girls to like drop your knees in, which is very bad caving in knees. So, if you're doing this exercise, make sure you keep them the out, okay? When you exhale, you need to also lower your ribs while you snap your belly in. You can't just snap your belly in with your ribs out. Let's train this time now. Think about the ribs, okay? Hands on your belly. Inhale, full inhale. Exhale, closing your ribs, cage, snap your belly in. Okay, take your hands off. I want you to guys to look at this. When you lower your ribs, okay? You're gonna already reduce the circumference of your waist. This is the secret. This is the key that if you learn that, you will shape your waist, okay? You're gonna get the nice curve that you want to, and also you're gonna really strengthen your core. And then it's another good thing about this exercise right here. If you have your ribs flying, you know, if your ribs is out the way on the top here, Work on this exercise right here. You're gonna be able to lower and close your ribs, okay? When you get this shape over here on your waist, you're gonna close it in your ribs. It's like just fantastic. And also, if you had a kids, okay? And you have a diastasis, so the, the your abs is kind of more like the fiber, it's opening, you let the, the thing over here on the middle of your abs. You, with this exercise, you're able to close in to be like you had your belly before you have your kids. It's impressed, so, but you, you need to work that every day. You, you're gonna learn th this technique by the end of this read, but I mean, it's really powerful because remember, you're gonna shape your waist, you're gonna close in those fibers, you're gonna regain the, the shape on your abs that you had before you have kids, okay? So let's work. Inhale through your belly, expand, 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 and then full exhale, Lower your ribs, cage, cage, there we go. Squeeze it in, three, two, one, relax, release. Pay attention on her waist over here. You're gonna see how it shapes in. Let's go, full inhale, full inhale, and full exhale. Exhale, exhale, look, look, look at this. It's getting the shape, and then you hold, three, two, one, relax, release. There we go, we're not done yet. The third thing, that's the hardest one. You're gonna learn how to engage your pelvic floor muscles, okay? Close your eyes. Before we strengthen those muscles, we need to bring awareness for them, okay? You're gonna do that with eyes closed. To engage, to work on those muscles right down there, think about the first one, that you are on the bathroom. That you are urinating and you need to Stop the flow of it. Think about this. We're gonna do that by the end of exhaling. It's gonna be a deep inhale, full exhale, and then you're gonna squeeze, stop the flow of it. Let's go. In, exhale, 
full exhale. By the end of your exhale, you squeeze down there and relax. And also you already can connect those exercises, okay? The belly breathing with ribs going down and abs going in, okay? And remember, by the end, when you finish in exhale, you're gonna squeeze. Think about it, you need to stop the flow of your urine, okay? Let's do it again. In, belly grow, full exhale, full exhale, 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 and then engage down there. Relax. One more. In. Inhale, 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 inhale. Full exhale. Lower your ribs, abs in. Squeeze down there. Relax, release. It takes practice, okay? You can practice that when you go to the bath to urinate. You can hold a little bit. Then little moves that you use to hold it, it's the one that we're talking about here. But the second one, it's the one that you're gonna hold when you are defecating, okay? The same idea. The bottom of your exhale, think about the need to stop the flow of it. Let's go. In. Full exhale. And squeeze it. Relax. Tired? <laughs> In. Out. Ribs down, abs in, in, squeeze down there, relax. One more. In, out, full exhale. Ribs down, abs in, and squeeze there, relax. Third one. If you're a woman, you gotta think about the uh, squeeze, contracting the opening of your vagina. If you're a guy, Think about what they are lifting up your testicles. Let's go. Same idea. Eyes closed. Inhale. Full exhale. On the end of your exhale, and you squeeze down there. Relax. Relax. Release. In. Out. Full exhale. Full exhale. And squeeze it. Relax. One more, in, out, full exhale, full, 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 squeeze down there, relax, there you go, and last one, you're gonna think about there, I squeeze out three muscles at the same time, let's do it, inhale, full exhale, there you go, squeeze everything down there, and relax, you can rest, so, you got the idea, you learned that, you know, you can watch this video as many times you need. And now, we're gonna learn how to work with everything at the same time. That's the exercise that's gonna help you to reduce the size of your waist, the circumference, and also to end your back pain. Because if your core is not working, if you don't have strength enough on your core, you're not gonna be able to support your spine and do all the function that's supposed to. You're gonna get pain on your back, okay? So what's gonna be that exercise over here? We're gonna hold now this contraction that we did here for 30 seconds and rest 30 seconds. Let's do it. You're gonna inhale through your belly as much as you can. You see this? Full exhale. Ribs down, abs in, engage everything down there and keep this squeeze. And breathe slow, short and slow. Keeping this squeeze, okay? You gotta hold there, 30 seconds, okay? Holding your pelvic floor muscles, snapping your belly in, ribs down, hold everything working at the same time and make sure you breathe, don't lock your breath, but you must breathe slow. Short breath is during this, okay? And then relax, rest. You can start off with 10 seconds, okay? Do 10 seconds, rest 30 seconds, and then you add up to able to hold for 30 seconds. What's very important right here? When you do this exercise, your ribs must be down and your belly must be snapped in to the point that you're gonna touch your lower back on the ground. Hold this contraction for 10 seconds only when you first start and then you're gonna add up as much as you can to get to the 30 seconds. Make sure you don't lock your breath. Okay, you must breathe during this contract. Let's do one more. 
So don't do chest breathing, okay? It's gonna be only belly breathing. Inhale as much as you can. Full exhale. Full, 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 full ribs down, abs in, squeeze pelvic floor. So everything's working right now. Watch her waist. And then short breath, okay? Short breath, breathe slow. And keep hold, everything's working here. Hold as much as you can. Snap your belly in as much as you can. Drive your ribs down. Snap your belly in. Keep hold everything down there as hard as you can. As hard as you can. Must keep breathing. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, there we go. Guys, do this on a daily basis, okay? It's impress. I want you guys to take one picture of you before you do exercise and do this exercise for 30 days, okay? Every day, every day, you're gonna do 10 sets, okay? You're gonna do 10 seconds starting off to get to the 30, as I mentioned before, and rest 30 seconds between the sets. Do this 10 times every day during 30 days and then take another picture you're gonna see you shape your waist doesn't matter if you're overweight or not that's nothing to do about fat here they're about to do with muscle you're gonna decrease you're gonna lose circumference on your waist you can measure yourself measure yourself and another great thing if you have difficult going to the bathroom if you have intestinal constipation that's gonna help you that's gonna really help you when you work with the those muscles right there you're gonna release gas that you have, okay? I'm gonna, if you have a, a hard time going to the bath, I'm gonna also help you a lot with that. If you have flying ribs over here, you're gonna be able to lower them, to strengthen them together. It's it's amazing, okay? If I were to tell you guys uh, all the be benefits that we have doing this exercise right here, that would be like a 30, 40, one hour video, okay? And also, if you didn't stand something because you know I'm your Brazilian train, just let me know on the comments. I'll answer your questions, okay? Also, this technique over here, you should use for every single time that you're gonna exercise because when you engage those muscles right here, you give support to your spine, okay? I have a, a video showing you guys how to squat and also I talk a little bit about this technique over here. You can watch this video, I'm gonna play somewhere over here because you're gonna connect both. During your daily things, you don't need to squeeze those muscles as hard as you have when you exercise, but you need to squeeze them a little bit just to give the right support to your spine, okay? Because when you, those muscles are working here, you're not, not gonna rest on your belly like this. You're gonna be able to keep your belly in and give support to your spine, because otherwise, you will look like this. So, those muscles engage strong to snap your belly in and give support to your spine. But you don't need to squeeze too hard because you are exercise, but enough to keep your upright posture. Remember that, it's very important because if you train this exercise over here, and then when you get up and then you're gonna do your daily things, whatever you're doing, and then you walk like this with your belly relaxed, I mean, that's not possible to fix your problem, okay? This is exercise is for you to apply during, during your daily things. And make sure when you finish your exercise, you don't just get up, otherwise you're gonna get this, okay? You're gonna sit down first, wait 30 seconds, and then you get up slow. I hope this video helped, okay? If you have anyone with back pain, uh, intestinal constipation, probably hard time to go to the bathroom. If you uh, know someone that rests like this on, on the belly, also this is gonna help you. Someone that has sciatica, any type of back pain, do this exercise, okay? Thank you so much guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank, Thank you. you.